my 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 gemini what is going on with you big baby it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again for the remix to let you guys know what is going on mid-month august the 15th through the 31st shout out to all my loves that have been liking sharing and subscribing thank you to everyone who has been emailing me letting me know that there's issues on my booking page so listen you guys um until i reach out to simply book me to get this whole thing fixed i have no idea what the heck is wrong with my booking page um i am open if you want to book a reading with me just email me at scorpionres at gmail.com um if you want to see my rates and the type of readings that i the services that i provide you can check my um booking page um to see the pricing and see what type of readings I, I provide. I do have my PayPal and my cash app where you can send payments. And like I said, just either email me or it's probably best for you to connect with me on Google Hangouts using my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com or on Instagram, which is the direct link under my booking link on my about tab. Um, just communicate with me there. Um, I'll submit whatever form of payment method that you feel comfortable with and we can just rock and roll because i've been wondering what's been going on with my bookings lately come to find out they got my page all jacked up so thank you so much to everyone who has been emailing me making me aware of this issue and um if you again have any questions or concern just feel free to email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com or you can use my about tab and um send me a message on instagram and you know we'll get everything all worked out Thank you to everyone who's been, again, liking, sharing, and subscribing. If these videos resonate for you at any point in time and you want to send some love, you can feel free. Of course, the Cash App, the PayPal, and my Amazon wish list is in the About tab. And thank you guys so much again for the love. We do have a new deck announcement up there. You see that bad boy right there? Boom! Boom! The Musical Oracle deck. And we will be using that today. So shout out to everyone who's been sending love. Um, Thank you so much for all of the support that you guys have been pouring it into me because I pour it right back out into you thank you guys so so very much all right so let's get into the energy let's say a quick prayer and let's see what God got for us okay so father God thank you so much for your divine and light thank you so much for the pleasure of you know you just moving gracefully through our life father God um we're feeling blessed we're feeling renewed we're feeling rejoice we're in this empress energy we're feeling beautiful we're feeling vibrant we're feeling very comfortable in our environment father god um i really do feel like this is a new peaceful and tranquil moment in gemini's life and father god we thank you abundantly for it father god continue to pour love and happiness and appreciation for everything that we have into our life, Father God, because Lord knows we appreciate every single thing that you have blessed us with, Father God. Um, please give us guidance for the sign of Gemini for August the 15th through the 31st. And thank you again for all the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance today as you always do. And we thank you again. We thank you so much for all of the blessings. Please give us guidance for my Gemini's for mid-month August. Thank you again for all of your guidance. All right. So let's see what tune we are playing right now in this stage of our life. Let's see what type of musical guidance we got here. And these are, I love these cards. I really do because I did me a couple of spreads the other day, just like some practice spreads. And just a message. I was like, hold on. Come on through, Father, with the tea. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Who is this? Jan oh, Janice Joplin. Ooh, baby, I like this picture. Don't she look at you? Come on, girl. Didn't I tell y'all 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 was on some piece of serenity ass type shit? Y'all, like Lonnie B said, let no hoe upset you. Okay. It says evolve, but don't compromise. Come on, Father. Come on today. You better speak. Okay. And let the truth just just flourish on through. It says evolve, but don't compromise. You're all you've got. The power of love must replace the love of power. Ooh. Sound like somebody been on a power trip here. You are far greater than the sum of your fears. Ooh, ooh. How do I feel like she a smoker? She a smoker. Is Janice Joplin a smoker? Do she be smoking? <laughs> <laughs> she got her hood on. She on stealth mode, okay? What y'all been hiding in the hood? Like, what y'all been... <laughs> she 
she got her hood on and some glasses. Why well, I feel like y'all been on a stakeout. I feel like y'all had some takeout in the car and y'all was on a stakeout. You see how she got these glasses on and this hood on. She look like she been smoking a little ganja in her car. Like she just been in there trying to get real comfortable. Like on some incognito shit. I'm sorry, but I'm really getting that some of you guys have been. And it does say the power of love must replace the love of power. I really do feel like this is telling me that someone might have been doing some level of investigating because it's like there is something going on where they're not willing to compromise. And Gemini wants to know what the fuck is going on. You know Gemini is all about fact and truth. You can't come to Gemini with no bullshit. And if you feed them bullshit, they gonna find out the answers. That's one damn thing about a damn air sign. They want the facts and the truth in the matter, and that's all that matters to them. So I definitely feel like there's somebody that might have rolled them up about two or three J's because they knew that they was gonna be sitting in the car for a minute. And y'all on stealth mode sitting out on somebody's block waiting to see how things is coming and going. Cause before you make cause listen, see the eyeglasses. Look. You're not compromising. Evolve, but don't compromise. You've all your God. The poison, the power of love must replace the love of power. You are far more greater than the sum of your fears. It's something going on right now. And I just want you to take note of her face. She's fucking tired. Bitch, what is this? Kate Bush. It says... Never let go of mystery, bitch. I didn't I tell y'all y'all ass was out there stalking and, and, and watching something. <laughs> Never let go of mystery. Cultivate nostalgia for whatever was. The arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison. You listening to me? The arrows of desire or sometimes dip in poison and this is like ivy ivy all around her don't that shit like grow on the side of people houses and stuff like that and it just be all over the place it just, it just like crawls up it clings on the people all right gemini please don't now this could be someone that's dealing with the gemini or this could be the gemini because y'all gotta understand this oh okay just pop out like that Gemini is trying to end a conflict. I feel like there's definitely been a competition in regards to either a work situation or a love situation. You feel like there's somebody else in the picture because there's been a whole bunch. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. You ever come home one day and everything, oh, excuse me, and everything was peaceful. And now I am speaking on this as a woman because I'm a woman. I don't know how it is to be a man, but just follow me and just use it vice versa. So you know how you done had a good day. You done came home. You know what I'm saying? You just trying to come home and chill and shit. You done came home. You done shit shower and shave. Got the house clean. You cooked up a nice dinner for your man to come home. And so you really excited for your man to come home. You know, got that nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Because you just want things to be the way it normally be. You just want to come home and chill with your man. Now when your man came home, he kicks open the door. Boom! Bad attitude. Bad mood everything and you just it's just not making any sense to you and you're like asking them like what happened this person isn't really giving you any in-depth detail for why they're acting like that they're just acting strange they storm in and storm out you don't even know what you did like this person came in the house yelling at you for god knows what only thing you did was come in the house shit shower shave and cook it clean to take care of your man. So it's just like, what in thy fuck is going on? Nothing is making sense. And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all. I feel like the way y'all's partner has been acting has been very weird. Very fucking weird. But I do feel like this is a codependent relationship. Because with that Ivy, I feel like y'all are still clinging on to each other. And do you see these two with the eyeglasses? It says evolve but never compromise. You're all that you got. Never let go of mystery. So I feel like. I really do feel like. Gemini is like. Pulled into like a very toxic codependent situation. I do feel like there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot. Of, I feel like 
Gemini's been hearing like a lot of stories about possibly the, maybe the person that they've been dealing with, dealing with other people like competition. I feel like Gemini has been in a battle of their life. If it wasn't one, it was this one. If it wasn't this one, it was that one. It's like as soon as you would get rid of one, here come another. And I really do feel like, look at her face. She's tired. She's like, I can't be like, is this another one? This person can't be doing this shit again. Can't. I feel like this is another one. Like you on another fucking stake out with your takeout and your J in the car. Like I really do. And you see Janice Joplin. Only thing she wants is fucking peace and harmony. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? And that's why it's saying your desires for whoever this person it is that you're clinging on to. That arrow could be sometimes dipped in poison. The arrows of desires are sometimes dipped in poison. And I really do feel like, Gemini, you need to realize that you need to evolve, but don't compromise. You are all that you got. You can't allow your love for power. I feel like you want to try to control this situation. You want to control this person, and you can't. You trying to cultivate nostalgia for what never was. You understand? And I do feel like to some level, this certain level of drama, like, I don't know, maybe you guys, like, maybe at first, like, a little competition, ain't nothing wrong with a little competition, like, maybe at first it was cute, but at this point, you are exhausted, you're like, I can't believe this motherfucker is doing this shit again. And you will stake out what you'll take out on the bitch, because before you jump out there and say a motherfucking thing... Because I really do feel like Gemini is getting to the point where they're fucking done up... The, I'm not fighting no more. It's just that you have to replace the power. It says the power of love must replace the love of power. You have to replace that love. If you're trying to control this situation, being a step ahead of this person, knowing every move, everything that this person is doing, because I really do think that that's what y'all doing. You have, it says your fears, are, it says you are far greater than the sum of your fears. So you guys are chasing your fears. You know what I'm saying? You are cultivating nostalgia for what, for what never was. I really do feel like you guys are clinging to a situation and giving someone too much credit for something that they're really not. You understand? Or trying to put someone in a place or position for something that they don't fucking deserve. You understand what I'm saying? They don't fucking deserve it. They don't fucking deserve it. I feel like this person always has you competing in some competition in the middle of some bullshit. And you deserve a lot more than that. I really do feel like you need to see this person for who they are. Because you're never letting go of the mystery. And I feel like because... I feel like because the arrows of your desire are sometimes dipped in poison. That's, I, feel, I really do feel like it's a level of addiction. It's a... It's a it's, it's like an addiction, addictive pattern, like y'all's relationship. I feel like this is probably like the fifth or sixth person. This is like the fifth or sixth person that you've had to battle with regarding this individual that you're clinging on to and they're clinging on to you too. But at this point, you're at the place where you're feeling like you're straight up being taken advantage of, not only um, emotionally, but physically, like your coins. I really do feel like your assets are running dry for some reason. Your assets are running dry. I feel like possibly the person that you're with, this person drinks and parties a lot and definitely likes to keep themselves surrounded by multiple women. Clearly, as you can see. And you're tired of it. You're fucking tired of it. And not only that, you don't have the energy to give to it no more. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, and even I feel like y'all, your house. I feel like y'all might have been going through like a slight bout of depression. Like y'all not cleaning your house and tending to shit in your home the way that you would have. Because I look at her face. She's drained. She's drained. Y'all can have even just recently had a childbirth and you're tired. You understand what I'm saying? With this sun card in the, in the reverse. Do you understand what I'm saying? These are children here. This could be a situation that's affecting your children. And I want to say, while this person is out 
shaking the tail feather out, celebrating, drinking, and having a good time, I really do feel like you might be at home struggling, dealing with matters of the house, matters of with the children, paying bills. I feel like you're doing all of this shit on your own, and I don't think that you thought it would be this way. I don't think that you've seen... You would never look. Mama, mama never told me there would be days like this. You could possibly have two young kids running around in the house and you're fucking exhausted. You're exhausted. Like this person can clean. I feel and another thing, I feel like this person may be dirty. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're having a hard time keeping your house clean because of this person always leaving trash around and stuff like that. It's like tainting your home environment. Not only just with the energy that's being bought in there, but just you're being so fucking drained by this person. Only thing they, only thing they give a fuck about is them. Them. Oh, I'm going out with my friends, but I can't go out with my friends. Um, We got bills. We got to take care of these kids. Like, what, you, what, what do you mean? You spending all the money that we need to be spending on bills, going out and drinking, having not with like what the fuck are you talking about? So and it's like half of the time this person is always saying that they going out with their friends and you don't even fucking believe them. That's why you want to stake out with your takeout. You understand what I'm saying? Cause you like ain't no way because you've been acting too motherfucking weird. You coming in this house mad, arguing, fussing with me about shit. I ain't even do nothing but take care of the kids, go to work and come home and cook it clean for your broke ass. You know, like, and I'm serious, like, that's how Gemini feels. It's just like, and they tired of this person dirty enough, they fucking house. I really do feel like Gemini, I feel like Gemini might be a neat freak or something like that. And this person be leaving beer cans and shit and old food and shit laying around. And it's, and it's irritating Gemini because they feel like they done took on another child. You know what I'm saying? Not only does Gemini already have maybe two kids. But they feel like this person that they're dealing with is not responsible, doesn't really help them with anything. And they feel like they're dealing with a big ass child that don't do nothing but bring a whole bunch of confusion and conflict. And it's like when you're a mother and you're trying to focus on and especially anybody that just had a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like you a new mother or whatever. It's just like I don't have time for this. Shit. I need to focus. But it's like for some reason I, and I do feel like it has something to do with kids as either kids or you guys live with each other and you guys share bills. There is a codependency here with this Katie Bush with that with the with the vines on there. Like it's codependent. Yeah, Kylie Minogue, most definitely. OK, most definitely. Let me see if there's any spades going on here. Girl. Mm. So let's see. So Kylie Minogue, I'm going to say, number one, Gemini, you realizing, I don't need this shit. I'm a badass bitch. I feel like y'all are falling in love with y'all self. Y'all, I really do feel like y'all are trying to clean up y'all environment because y'all are not happy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all are not happy in y'all home environment right now. You know? What they say? The sun don't shine forever. Something, something, uh, 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 when we might as well shine together. I don't know. And, and and I feel like that was the mission. It's like, you know, the sun don't shine forever, but we might as well shine together. But this person, I feel like the person that Gemini is dealing with, they're more concerned about them skipping out on the town, having fun. And I feel like they spend money on stupid stuff. They spend money on stupid stuff like drinking, gambling, uh, hanging out with their friends, going, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like Gemini is being left with all of the bills. I feel like Gemini is falling back in love with their self. Gemini is falling back in love with their self. This nine of uh, spades right here, this card represents destruction. It represents... Someone possibly going through some type of depression or some type of anger or confusion due to a loss with heartbreak, um, with deceit, lies, treachery, uh, just just all of that. Do you understand what I'm saying? This green, I don't know. In this deck, I always take the green, especially if it's... <sighs> On top of a spade card as envy and jealousy. 
I feel like there's a lot of envy and jealousy. I feel like as beautiful as this queen is, like this person is not recognizing it by their actions in the way that they're treating this person. Evolve, but never compromise. You are all you got. And that's what Gemini is realizing. I'm all I got. This motherfucker out there celebrating, doing whatever the fuck they want to do. I cannot allow myself to go broke and be sitting in this house happy and unfulfilled because of what somebody else doesn't want to do. I got to pull myself up and I got to love myself because I love once and I will damn sure love again. And I damn sure look motherfucking good and bitch. And if you just had a baby, goddamn bitch, you look good. Goddamn bitch, you look good. You said, listen, you see how, um... You see how his tie is undone and all of this stuff like that? Tootie fruity, home rooty, tootie fruity, woo! Bitch, this nigga might be, listen. And then you got Prince right next to him. Honey! Honey bunny. This ain't even funny. It's been a lot, it's been, it's been a lot of drama. This one doesn't even see. This one acts like they're completely blind and they don't see what they're doing. And I'm sorry because of these two people here. Everybody always talks rumor about Lil Richard and Prince possibly being a little. Hold on, how uh, <laughs> Medea say hello? <laughs> That's a tambourine player, bitch. I ain't about to hold you. I ain't about to hold you. But this jack of hearts, yeah, this person is most definitely a very loving and a generous person with their love. And I really do feel like, and I, Gemini, tell me, am I tripping? Because with this right here, I am getting that some of y'all possibly think that the person that y'all dealing with might be on the down low. Because you're not, listen, because I'm not, I'm, I already told y'all I'm going to stop playing when I see this type of shit come out, because in the past with other signs, this is my first time seeing this coming up in Gemini, but in the past with other signs, I've seen like the beard card or certain cards come out that kind of gave me the indication that there might be like some down low shit going on. And I wanted to hold my tongue and spirit told me don't. Do it, Red. Say that shit. And I'm so glad that I did. Do you know how many fucking emails that I got? It was like, thank you, oh my God, because I know this and that, blah, blah, blah. Y'all won't say it in the comments, but y'all be emailing me. So I'm, I cannot, I cannot limit you guys of information that I know deep in my soul that I'm feeling. This person that they're dealing with, that Kylie even know that this beautiful Gemini is dealing with, you know, number one, I'm far more better than this. I'm far more better than this. It's just, it's something, I think it's because of the kids and or it's something about this money, this money obligation and stuff, especially if y'all just had a baby or something like that. It's something about these children, these children. And this person is partying while you're being left with the children at home by yourself. And that shit is not right. You're being left with the children and the fucking bills and this person is skipping off like they don't have a care in the fucking world. But you gonna find out what's going on. The Joker card. The Joker card. So, this Joker, I'm seeing a lot of rock and roll. I'm seeing. Hold on. I'm, hold on. What I'm, I'm hearing. You're living dangerously. Oh, danger feel. Danger feel. Dangerously. Y'all know, know that Jamaican song? Living dangerously. I'm on a danger field, danger field. Bitch, you live it dangerously. This is a joker card. This is the full card, but I put this, this is in reverse because I'm looking at the energy behind this. And even look at this man. What made you really know dress like that? Like, I swear, I fucking swear for it, y'all, y'all not. But, and in the seven of fucking spades card, this is a card of bad luck like this is a card of bad fucking luck y'all it's like you're living dangerously in this situation like it says cultivate cultivating nostalgia for net for what never was i feel like gemini might be putting this person on a higher plateau than what they deserve like look at the energy of the fucking men here all of these men look a little tambourine-ish I'm sorry. 
I'm fucking sorry. And I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Please, y'all don't get offended. But I got to tell y'all the truth, man. I feel like this, whoever y'all dealing with will fuck any man, woman, just anything. Like anything. This person is just free giving with their love. The Prince card. The Prince card as the Jack of Heart. Come on, y'all. Come the fuck on. And that yellow represents the solar plexi chakras. It's like you got to figure out what it is that you're about to do so you can figure out how you about to let the energy flow through you about this situation. Do you see the yellow behind Kali Mano? You're trying to figure out what the fuck you're about to do. That's why like, I got that yellow again. That's why your ass is out there on stealth mode. I feel like some of y'all got something itching in your bones that you feel like this person may be on a down low. I don't even necessarily feel like you guys are too much worried about women, though. Because this person, like, I'm going, I'm, I'm out with my friend, I'm out with my friend. But it could be a female friend, but he probably fucking her, too. I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry. This is a card of bad luck. I'm trying, I'm telling, I'm telling you the truth right now. And with this Amy Winehouse, they try to make me go to rehab. I say, no, no, no. Bitch, you are in Blue City. Like, you were singing Blue City, okay? You about to go back to black on a nigga, okay? He only said goodbye with words. I cried a thousand times. You go on back to her and I'll go back to. I'll go back to. Bitch, go back to black. You guys are about to change the way you operate. Changing the way you work with. Changing the way that you dealing with. With this person. I can see you guys like waiting to get some new tattoo. Like awesome fuck love type of shit. Like I really do. Let me clarify these cards for y'all. Because y'all know I'm still studying. So I want to make sure that I am giving you the utmost. Most accurate information. So I will be clarifying. So the three of hearts. The three of hearts. The three of hearts represents new love. And like I told you, or it could denote a third party situation, which is right. We have, if we have spades in here, it's right next to the fucking spades with little Richard. Like, so it, it is representing a third party situation. And it, it told you that off the back with the seven of wands. That is like, come on. Three of clubs. Oh, I'm talking about three of clubs. Lord, this ain't no motherfucker. I will read you the five of clubs, though. I will read you the five of clubs. We can start there. The five of clubs, a card representing a change in action, changes in the work situation, changes in social standings, symbolizing the five fingers you might reach through and smack the fuck out of a nigga. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it could also represent working with one's hands, making shit happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or making something. It could also denote physical labor, providing the extra effort needed to get the job done. It's a card of action and physical activity. A need for physical exercise is the competition card. Sporting event. Do you understand? What does she say? You go on back to her and I'll go back to bitch. I'm about to go back to black on this motherfucker. She just about to change altogether like how she's dealing with this person because I feel like this person has seen everything that they need to see and it's like you're not going to hold me down. I'm a I'm evolving. Evolve but don't compromise. You are all you got and that is what Amy Winehouse is saying. I'll just go back to black. I'm not going to keep competing. I'm not going to keep belittling myself. And it was hard for me to let go of this mystery. I feel like you are literally having to snatch them vines off of you like this person. Like you guys are so codependent on each other. But this is what broke the camel's back. Do you understand me? The seven of spades, traditionally a card of bad luck and loss, unexpected trouble. This is the tower card, okay? Mishap. Unhappy surprises, serious setback, a reversal of plans, frustration, lack of progress, a stalemate, stagnation, addiction to drugs. Like I told you, this is an addictive, toxic, compulsive relationship. You understand? Do you understand? 
for someone to jump in the car and go on stealth mode and get you a snack and some pack and sit in your car and wait to see what happened. That's someone's operating off of anxiety. That's someone uh, operating off of frustrations and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Codependency addictions. Oh, it says codependent right here. It says stagnation, addiction, drugs, medications, alcohol, codependent relationships, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, a saloon. Like I told y'all, y'all ass might be sitting outside waiting for this motherfucker to see who he come out with. The Joker. You already know what this means. The Joker in reverse means someone that does not. This was already open. That's fine. You can have it, Pepsi. That's fine, baby. That means someone that has lack of, lack of faith, lack of hope. Like, they don't really believe in... A prosperous outcome to something. It's something in that sacral chakra. You feel deep in your gut. You know what I'm saying? That this person that you're dealing with is all about rock and roll. Like, they're not really the family-oriented, committed person that you thought that you were dealing with. You clearly see where this person's energy is at. Drinking, smoking, doing drugs, fucking new bitches. Or, okay, I'm gonna let it go. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Y'all going to deal with that on y'all own time. I'm sorry. I'm not going to keep breaking that up. But I'm sorry. Y'all be careful. Please wear condoms, y'all. Wear fucking condoms. That's all I can tell you. Because you never know what the fuck somebody is doing. And if someone is coming in your house and you've done nothing. And this person is arguing and fussing with you for no reason. Just to find a reason to walk back out the door. That's because they're trying to find an excuse to go back out to wherever it was that they were already planning on going. Protect your body. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay, the jack of heart, a close friend, a loved one, a brother, a son, a boyfriend, a good natured young man of other sex, and could possibly be an actor, an actor, an artist, a poet, a student of the arts, could be an immature or an emotionally insecure young man. I, no, I'm going to say it. This person could be putting on the front because they're still trying to find their self. And it, it's possibly why there's a trail of... I feel like this person is struggling with their sexuality and is still trying to force their self to be with women when they know they have other desires. Like, I really do feel like that. I mean, it's too many fucking queens. Like, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, let me let it... I'm trying to let it go, but I can't because it's like... I can't. Like, I fucking cannot, yo. I'm sorry. And you seen that tower card. And y'all are lurking and finding that. Y'all are snooping. I really do feel like y'all are going to find some fucked up shit, y'all. The nine of spades, traditionally a card of sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional or physical pain, grief and malice. This is a very unfavorable card. It forebodies tragic events, including accidents, serious injury, serious illness. Self-injury or harm to oneself or another. Didn't I say y'all was going to be smacking somebody once y'all found? Oh, I'm. It says, feeling pressure or forced to do something. It can indicate a loss of control. A loss of control. A breakdown of established patterns. I already told you, you about to change. You about to go back to black. You about to black out. You about to look at her face. I just want y'all to look at her face. I'm not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, my goodness. It says it can represent disappointment or broken heart, karmic debts, obligation, duty to self or another. You already seen this tower card. You seen this tower card. And that's what making you lose faith and look at this person like this motherfucker don't even know their self they just out there spreading their love to every tom dick harry harriet and judy and and judith all over the motherfucking city this person ain't taking care of home this i really do feel like y'all got yourself mixed up with somebody and y'all do love this person Y'all do love this person, but y'all have realized, and I got to love myself because all I got is myself. Evolve, but don't compromise. You're all you got. The power of love must be replaced, must replace the love of power. I feel like 
you were so fascinated with this person. It's like, I feel like you went above and beyond to try to please this person, to keep this person home, to try to control this situation, to keep them from steering off to the left. But it was inevitable. The three of hearts represents love, beauty, happiness, new love, new relationship, a love triangle if surrounded by spades, which it certainly is. Creative, talent, artistic ability, creative achievements such as poetry, or artwork, fertility, blood, life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo. Like I said, either you guys just had a baby or you're still pregnant. The increase of something beautiful such as a blooming flower, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. I'm trying to tell y'all the concern of Gemini is the kids. This person out partying all the fucking time, not bringing, I feel like this person parties more than they actually bring money into the house. And... It's putting Gemini in a position where they feel like not only does this person keep their house dirty and unkept, but I feel like Gemini's love for this person. Anytime this person want to go out, Gemini might possibly give this person a few coins or something. And they realize that I got to stop doing this because this motherfucker ain't bringing no coins back into the house. This person is fucking up my house. I really just feel it's a, it's a big... I feel like Gemini has a big issue with about how this person leaves their house dirty. Like Gemini will come home and... It's dirty. Yeah, the child. Gemini is holding on because of this child. But you see that's a number 13. That represents the death. And then you got the jack, you got the jack of, of spades down here at the bottom. You know the jack of spades represents like a young dude that's like a bully. The jack of spades typically represents a man. Or woman. I mean, it could represent a man or a woman too, but it's like a bully, um, an extreme force of like control, manipulation. Like these people know what they're doing. They're very calculating. They're very shrewd, and they will do whatever they need to do to get what they want. You understand what I'm saying? They could use a child against you. Like maybe you um trying to leave or something. Like I said, the number thirteen represents death. The jack of spades represents someone who is inconsistent fickle do you understand and a bully someone that uses their power not for good Woo! two children there's a light-skinned child and a dark skin i don't think both of these children are yours There might be another child y'all don't know about, yeah. I don't know if you're fair skin or if you're brown skin. But there's one child. It's yours. And there's another child coming on the way that you don't know about. Oh my god. This person is a fucking mess. Who are y'all dealing with? But y'all cutting this person out. I feel like y'all going. Dear God. You're cutting this situation out to start all over again. Like y'all found out that this person has another child on the way by somebody else. This is all about wealth. This is all about stability. I feel like. This person that y'all been dealing with. This person, I feel like it's just been going out planting seeds of whoever he feels like he or she feels like has the most money that can afford their lifestyle. He ain't worried about look, and I told you there's two kids right here, didn't I tell you? Two kids. Two kids. Something about children. It had to do something about children, young. I really do feel like. And then there go the two women. One with dark hair, one with blonde hair. This person has been frolicking with two. Like going between two houses or something like that. I don't think y'all knew about this other child though, yo. 
Yo, this shit just took all the energy out of my chest. Hey, um, this shit not cool. This shit not cool at all, young. This not cool. This is not cool. That's, I'm about to say, why is her face like this? Please study the energy on her face. <sighs> Gemini, please let me know who he is. Cause Call me, bitch, because we can slide up. We, I'll, I'll help you punch this. We can jump him, okay? Girl, you let me know. Sorry, let me stop. Now, for real, whoever this is, need their ass beat. That's fucked up. And I, and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck how many bitches this motherfucker go out here and impregnate. You still sweet, Slim. You still got some issues going on with you that you need to do. I feel like this person battles with their sexuality. I feel like this person uses women to take care of them. Like, this person doesn't love either one of y'all. Nor is this person concerned about the kids. Like, this person is concerned about continuing to live their lifestyle the way that they've been able to live it. And as soon as you're not able to afford to provide them the lifestyle, they're going to go over to this one. And vice versa, going to jump back and forth between whoever's going to keep them at that time. But Jim and I said, oh, no, bitch. <laughs> not I, said the cat. Not I. I will cut your ass out and start a brand new. Like I told you. Yes, new vision. Yes, new vision. Listen. Hmm. Inner voice. Inter God damn voice. Gemini is being guided by their inner voice. Ooh, listen. Ooh, it ain't moving on. Come on, Gemini. Fucking Gemini. God damn it, bitch. Listen. Listen, Linda. Come on through and let them know. You are listening to your inner voice. You said I don't have no problem with being alone. I've been clinging on to this situation for the safety in the for the children and because they loved this person but Gemini is not a motherfucking fool and you're not going to play with me you don't went out there and had another baby with somebody else and I'm quite concerned about these people these dudes that you hanging around I really do like I'm trying to tell y'all don't be surprised if you get a couple of bombs dropped on you or people if you Gemini, if it, there's any Gemini that actually thinks like there might be something fishy with who they're dating or who they be hanging out with, the dudes that they're hanging around with or the girls that they're hanging around with, just ask somebody about them. Somebody that you trust just be like, man, just ask. And I feel like you would be quite surprised. There's some information going on about this person and their sexuality and this person's sexual past. That will make. Like once you hear from other people about what they have to say about this person, all of this queen ass shit up here is gonna make a lot sense. And they go your other tower moment, and this is your other tower moment. And then you searching and looking, and and, and this is your other tower moment. You like, oh no, bitch, I've had it. The arrows of my desire are sometimes dipped in poison. Let me pull these fucking vines off bitch that's poison ivy i ain't fighting for this no more i'm not letting you frustrate me i'm not letting you bother me i i refuse to do it i'm focusing on my inner voice and i'm moving the fuck on i'm moving on like tree hugger type shit like this gemini is about to move on like their ships have come in finally i feel like they finally got the information that they need to take action. They finally got the information that they need to take action. And I really do feel like Gemini is more of a peace, love, and serenity type of person. I feel like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a little competition every now and then. But not like that. Not like that. I really do feel like by fall, by autumn, all of this shit is going to be done with. I really do feel like Gemini is moving into a new house. And they're loving their new environment that doesn't have anything to do with this person. That's why Gemini is hugging his tree like that. Like, that's your new home. That's your new environment. The three of wands represents movement. You understand what I'm saying? Someone's ships have come in. They've been waiting. The three of, three of wands represents someone waiting on something. You understand? So you guys have been waiting. Anticipating. You guys don't, and I'm trying to tell you, you don't even want to be in the apartment or the house or whatever you have that you share with this person because it reminds you of all the filth and the dirtiness that this person tainted your home with. You just want to move. 
It says, seriously, just do it. Just do it. You want to move? Just do it. This is for my singles. Fuck apologizing. And this, and this is coming out like that because I really do feel like the people that are going through the situation, y'all are pulling them vines off. Y'all realize that those arrows of your desire is dipped in poison. And you want to move. And you're seriously about to just do it. And like Spirit is trying to tell you, you want to move seriously, just do it. It says step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and Sprilina taste like ass. What the fuck? <laughs> it says eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Listen. I feel like you guys have been holding back from what you would desire and who you are. I feel like you guys were like... I feel like you guys were trying to change for the wrong reason. It says, watch out. Shit could get ugly. You are being shady. Wow. What the fuck? Hmm. Let's see what that had to, let's see what that means. Okay, let's go here to the love for my singles. Let me guide us for my singles. Oh, it says the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. You don't have no more faith in this situation. So God is giving you wings. God is giving you wings so that you can fly. And I'm trying to tell you, like, when you get to your new environment, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot better. You're definitely tired of the fighting. What is it says? Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Oh. You guys might be meeting someone new. That's why you hugging that tree like that, baby. You got you some new new? You got you a new boo? Come on now. Oh, look, you said I got me some new wood, okay? It says, imagine all the unwanted, excuse me, imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. You really went back to black. You went back to black, you guys. I, I feel like with that diet and all of that stuff like that, especially if you guys um, just had a baby or if you guys are uh, break up, y'all just had a breakup and you 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 trying to get that breakup glow back. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, I just broke up. I'm about to get my body together. I'm about to change my hair. I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? I really do feel like that's possibly why y'all been on this crazy diet and things like that. Um, and that's why Spirit is saying, we with you. You know what I'm saying? We with you. But at the same time, don't step too far away from what you're, you're normally what you normally do, like, do it in moderation. You know what I'm saying? Don't jump right into a crazy-ass crash diet and shit like that. I feel like it's going to make you sick in prison. You guys feel in prison. Has to be. Oh, shit. In prison. Message of concern. Yeah, about your family room. Most definitely. So, you guys feel like you're trapped. And you guys feel like you're trapped in regards to the situation with your kid's father. I definitely feel like this is somebody that you have kids with. This has everything everything to do with children. Everything to do with children. And if you don't have children, this can literally be with Someone promising you a new beginning because children can represent, you know, the innocence of a new beginning, a new start. Like this could be someone promising you a new beginning and promising someone else a new beginning at the same time. And you're like, oh, no, motherfucker. Oh, no, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. You're like, hello, motherfucker. Um, I thought you was giving this to me. What the fuck is this over here? What? Uh-uh, let me get you the fuck out of here because you ain't about to play with my money. You ain't about to play with my time. No. If you do have children, I feel like you guys feel like you're trapped and you're in prison with having to deal with this person for the rest of your fucking life. And I, 
and you're going to receive a message of concern about what's been going on in your house. Someone's going to tell you information regarding this situation. You're going to go looking, but you're going to go looking and you're going to go start talking to people about what it is and why you've been looking. And then more information about this person is slowly going to come out where you're going to be able to see this person for who they are. You know what I'm saying? Cultivate nostalgia for what never was. This person never was what you made them out to be. And you allowed them in your home. What is this? Justice in reverse. Yeah. This is like. This situation. I really do feel like. You don't really feel like this person is going to truly see their justice. Like they, you, you, you feel like this person is getting away. Like this person is getting away with it. Look, look, look. This person is getting away with it with the seven of swords. This person you feel like, I really do feel like this person, that you're, you're fucking devastated. Because this person is still out there partying and doing and, and acting like they ain't got a care in the fucking world. A care in the fucking world. You feel like this person is getting away, which is leaving this castle and just leaving you in dismay. You know, and it, this is a thief card as well, like. I'm trying to tell you with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this person could have been taking advantage of you because they needed a place to stay and they needed money. You know what I'm saying? And they probably had no intentions of committing to you. I mean, because clearly they dancing with... You feel like that this isn't right. Justice-wise, justice, justice -wise, karmically, that this isn't right. You understand what I'm saying? How is this person being allowed to get away with this shit? Because this person has done this shit before to other people. And you're like, how the fuck is this person I'm able to get? Yes, this person has most definitely took advantage of you financially. Financially. And this person might have stole some of your money and you're finding out about it. Or you're finding out that this person is just a thief in general. That this, that this person, you can't trust this person in your house or in other people's house because they stole money. You could have possibly took this person with you into a family member's house and then like a few days later like people were complaining that some money was stolen and I feel like you everybody that normally goes into that house has been there before and nothing has ever 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 came up missing and I feel like people were, were blaming your boyfriend or your spouse or something and like you fell out with your family defending this person and now you're realizing that this shit is true. Like, this person was a thief. This person did steal, not only from me, but they, they stole from my family. Like, this person is just a real piece of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this person, if they don't have any liquor, or if they don't have any, whatever their drug or vice is, or whatever it is, because I mean, clearly this person likes to party a lot. I feel like if they don't have that shit, they're a very miserable person. And they're miserable, and they will make you miserable, and they're not beneath taking what the fuck they want or doing manipulative shit to get what they want for my for my couples it says smell good and get your sexy on okay it says go on a real fucking date all right all right it says resentment kills the magic fucking say it I feel like for my couples, for the ones that are still in this situation, I told y'all before, y'all are starting to love yourself. You're starting to love yourself all over. You're starting to see the magic within yourself again. This is going a real fucking day. I want you to take yourself out. Smell good and get yourself your sexy one. It's about you feeling good. You feeling good, involved, but don't compromise. You're all you got. The power of love must replace the love of power. You are far greater than the sum of your fears. I feel like for the couples, y'all, fear is being alone and how you going to how you going to survive if this person is not there. But you will be able to survive more if this person was not there. This person is taking from you, and this person is stressing you. Y'all know my song. It says, um, 
The Lord is my light, my salvation. Who shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light, my salvation. Who shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. Listen. I will trust in you. Listen, y'all better wait on God. Y'all better trust on God. You hear me? The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom should I fear? Who shall I be afraid? Listen, you are far greater than the sum of your fears. Come on now. It says, make art, love, or music. Some of y'all are singers too. Spend time with Bay. Spend time with Bay. So for the ones that feel like only thing that needs to be done is to have a little conversation. Y'all just need to spend a little bit more time. You need to talk about the way that you're feeling, about the fact that this person spends too much time out partying. This person don't um, clean the house up and, and you need more help with the kids. You need more help financially. Um, I feel like you need to find a way to like, y'all need to go out on a real date in a place in the public where you kind of feel it won't go to the left. Somewhere where it's like some music or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wrong cards. No, I can use this card first. Um, clarify this. Clarify for my couples. Clarify for my couples. Yeah, official person. I feel like you want to record. You want to be recognized, and you want to recognize your bait as the official person. I feel like both of y'all need to start acting right. I feel like there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of drama, and this ooh, look, the bad health and the thief card. I feel the <laughs> goddamn thief card. I feel like the official person in your life is stressing you. It's stressing you out a lot, and it's giving you a lot of anxiety, a lot of insecurities. And it's starting to wear on your emotions and physically it's starting to drain you. And that's why I want you guys to, to, to put more energy into yourself and step your appearance up, clean your house up. and Because when you're depressed, you don't feel like doing nothing. Sometimes you just be in your room just crying. I really do feel like that because ain't nothing going right. And, and you feel like this person has been stolen from you. Because like I said, there's somebody else. For the couples that is still trying to fight for this situation, for some reason, y'all feel like if y'all just go out and have a real date, you could talk to this person about how you really feel and spend some time with Bay. You think that everything is, is, is going to be better, and it possibly could, but I honestly feel like holding on to this relationship is causing you more harm than good. This person is doing nothing but taking from you, and it's stressing you out. You understand? I don't want y'all to end up on no depression and Xanax pills. Fuck around. Trying to chase love. I told you it's saying that you're cultivating nostalgia for what never was. And this is a, tox a toxic, a codependent, and addictive relationship that is not healthy for you. I really wish that you would trust what I'm saying and just wait on God and love yourself. It's about loving yourself. And I understand that you want to try, 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 try again. But at the end of the day, the more the more you keep trying to pour your heart and yourself into something that never was. You're hurting your own paradigm. Because this person can skip off and go find another bitch or another dude and continue to do what they've been doing. You're the one that's going to have to rebuild yourself. This person is going to continue to be who they are. And that's what people got to understand. It's like. That arrow of your desire is sometimes dipped in poison. You know what I'm saying? 
pay attention to what you're doing for yourself and if it's worth all this stuff you're going through says embrace through each other you will find missing pieces and that's how this person feels it's like this is my official person and i just feel like if we just talk to each other like and just embrace what's going on i feel like It's this freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Then it says, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missed. Y'all might be in separation right now. Yeah, y'all feel like someone stole your official person from you and you in bad health right now. And you feel like if y'all could just get together, I just heard a one night stand. <laughs> like, I just need one night. I just need one motherfucking night and then everything gonna be all right. Like, this is really how this Gemini feels. But baby, I don't. Let me pull this deck out because I was trying not to make the videos too long because y'all know I'll be reading with 50 million decks. But because that's, you know, my videos might not be for everybody. Some people might like quick videos. I don't like no quick videos. I like in-depth, detailed information. You know what I'm saying? And still you ain't telling everything. But tell me how this person feels about Gemini. Put the deck back up and I, and I pull it back out because you damn right. Don't be short in Gemini. Okay, don't be short, my booze, my Gemini. You better pull that deck back out, okay? The hell you mean? Try to shorten the video. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it says, you are special to me even though I told you otherwise. This person is an ass. What you mean, even though I told you otherwise? What did this person say to you, Gemini? Gemini, please call me, because I will come and punch this motherfucker in the face for you. You see my fingers? Do you say them? Bitch, what the fuck you mean? You're special to me, even though I told you I will punch this nigga in the face. Bitch, fuck a play with my Geminis like that. fuck is wrong with you? It's it. Now, now, oh, now the motherfucker won't talk. Now you won't talk. What you want to talk about? piece of shit. It says, I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. I care too much about what others think right now. Oh, so they listen to other people's opinion about your relationship. Oh, really? It says, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. What? The other baby? Gemini, if you don't call me so we can roll up and punch this nigga in the throat. The fuck? Says, I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions now. Please notice. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You have a responsibility here. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Gemini. <laughs> Jim. If y'all know. Gemini, Gemini, like I'm sorry, I feel like this is my situation. Like I want to crack, I want to crack this man on all, all the front and alignment of his teeth. I just, I just, oh God, Jesus, give me, give me, clarify for my, for my, for my couples, please. What is this? The four spades, the four spears. Oh my God. Okay, so I feel like um. The Gemini has retreated. The Gemini has most definitely. Gemini left this person. This Gemini, the, the couples, they're in separation. But I feel like Gemini might need a little bit more time. Um, I don't think Gemini. I feel like Gemini needs a little bit more time to wrap their mind around the truth of the situation. What is this? The star. Listen. Don't piss in my cereal and tell me it's milk. Listen. Don't piss. And my cereal and tell me it's milk. I feel like I didn't tell y'all that the person that y'all fucking with has weird fetishes and shit that you don't even fucking know about. You see this bitch up in the tree pissing in the cauldron and this person is laying on the ground fascinated by this shit. Did you even know that this person? Do, 
I'm trying. The star card is in the reverse. Dealing with this person in this situation, I feel like you stepped away and got so far removed from who you actually are. The beauty of who you are. The purpose of who you are and who you were put on this earth to be. I really do feel like you were entertaining fools. And somehow you ended up losing yourself. You ended up losing yourself, Gemini. This is evolved, but don't compromise. You are all you got. You lost yourself in this situation. I feel like you even went as far as to do sexual things that ain't even... Like, this Gemini has done something sexually that is not something that they would normally do just to please this, this motherfucker. You, like, it's something that you would damn near be ashamed to tell people that you did. You know what I'm saying? Just to please this motherfucker. You see this girl up in a tree pissing in the pot. Don't piss in my Cheerios and tell me it's milk. What is this? The three of <laughs> the three of wands. Like I'm, I'm, I really feel like you were tired of sucking this man off or pleasing this person. I feel like you always feel like you're down on your knees, servicing and pleasing this person, and you're never getting the saddest. Look, I mean, look at her. Look at her doing all these strange things, doing something strange for some change, doing all these strange things to pleasure and please this person. But I, I, where, where is my pleasure? Where is my satisfaction? Where is my gratification? Where is my gratification? I really do feel like this Gemini, as she's slowly stepping away from this situation, she or he, remember this could be reversed. Um, they're realizing their worth. The ship has sailed in this situation, them down on their leads, degrading themselves, doing things that they never thought that they would ever fucking do to appease a narcissistic fucking asshole. Gemini realized that the ship has sailed on this one. They're moving on. I'm moving on. I really do feel like. No, I'm not getting it. I just no clarification. Whoever this person is in this relationship, their wants is to find the strength to move on. But I do see that you are still going to try to please this person because you don't you don't know who you are. This person and their wants and, and their needs determines how you move. And who you are. Like you're whatever this person wants you to be. I can't read this no other way. Because I want you to leave. You understand what I'm saying? Because I think you deserve better. But you're still going to be down there. You're being patient and you're waiting for this person to. Like I said. You feel like if you. You guys complete each other's missing puzzles. This is stressing you out. Giving you bad health. You feel like someone stole your band. This man went out and had a baby with somebody else. You know that you need to cut this out because it will bring you good luck and fortune. But for some reason, you feel like if you could just get one more date and just tell them about the things that you're feeling and make art, love, or music with each other again, you feel like things will be better. But this person... You heard what this person has to say. They're too busy thinking about what other people have to say about you, your relationship, or y'all's situation. That's why I'm saying you need more time secluded to yourself so you can kind of get your brain together. Because you, you still don't see your worth. You still don't see your worth. You're still fighting and you're still waiting for this. And you're, you're still willing to drop down on your knees in the police and service this person. No matter of all of the shit that happened. These people over here ain't going for it. This one over here, something different. So anyway, I want to say shout out to my babies, Janice Jop Joplin and Katie Bush. Honey, y'all done came through and dropped some tea. 
he he gave us some strong powerful words today Gemini this has been y'all reading if y'all want to book a personal private reading y'all know to email me or to just send me a message on Instagram and I got you baby um I'm gonna sing it one more time the Lord is my life my salvation who should I fear whom should I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will trust in you. I will wait on you. You understand? Trust and wait on God. Don't belittle yourself for no one. Gemini, I love you. And if you need me, email me, bitch. I'm going to pull up. I'm out. <laughs>